Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawen Channel for Fawen Friends Aviary Attorney featuring the great Micro. Hello, I'm here everybody. I'm so glad to be back and to see all of you out there. Well, by see, I mean hopefully I'll be reading your comments soon. Yep, yep. And I will say, excuse me, I will say it's kind of obvious that the wolf is uh, in, in sheep's clothing, so to speak. Oh my gosh. And um, he's just trying to get everything over with and just so he can implicate the fox. But... One, we proved that the the chocolate was poisoned. Mm -hmm. Two, um, even the king of France uh, was the most trustworthy person in all France. What a flamboyant little dude! Um, he uh, was it cooperated, cooperated, collaborated, collaborated, no, no, co corroborated, corroborated, it's... corroborated. But he also collaborated with us, kind of. Yeah. Anyways, uh, with us about the whole situation. So, um, and now Sparrowson's back. He survived because he has an iron skillet stomach. Iron stomach. And uh, he has brought with him Mademoiselle Signé. Dun, dun, dun. Who is now our surprise witness. So things are about to get really interesting. So let's see where this goes. The oath. Say that you swear to speak without hatred, without fear, and tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I swear, Your Honor, I swear to speak without hatred, without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Good. Very good. Please state your name and occupation for the court record. My name is Catherine Marie Signier, and I'm a flower seller. I was all Signier. Tell the courtroom of your activities on the morning of the 7th of January. Very well. I saw the king's entourage enter the Louvre around 9 o'clock. I followed. When they came to a stop at the Salle de Tibre, I stepped forward and offered the king a chocolate. He refused, but a god, a big dog by the name of Major Howell, was happy to oblige. The god died because I, personally, had previously added poison to the chocolates. Oh, wow. No, that can't be right. A used poison derived from monk's hood, a notoriously dangerous plant. As a flower seller, it was simple to, be, to acquire. Why did you do it, mademoiselle? Why? Monsieur, people have tried to kill the king before, and people will try again. He is a vile man who has no respect for the love of or love for the people who suffer under him. I did it to better the people. I don't believe that at all. Falcon, say something. Mademoiselle, are you being coerced or threatened? Speak freely. No, monsieur, I'm confessing out of my own volition. It is my guilt and nobody else's. Hmm. This is fishy. I think we're gonna have to poke holes in it. Yeah. <gasps> You're intriguing. You're convincing. I gained a little favor with the jury. Well, defense, it looks like you wormed a confession out of this murderous pute. Suppose that gets your client Prince Swan completely off the hook, lucky you. So, shall we wrap this court session up? No, I haven't finished my examination. I like that. I like that a lot. No, not yet. I have further questions for the witness, Your Honor. Further questions? To what end? You've already proved your client's innocence. I wish to uncover the truth. You aren't here to uncover the truth. You're supposed to. Def you're here to defend Prince Juan, and you've done that job with disgusting, with a disgusting level of diligence. Nonetheless, I believe that Mademoiselle has omitted something of huge importance. I wish to question her further. Something of huge importance? I won't allow it. Fine. Can I at least show something to the witness? You and the prosecutor are a right pair of moralizing blowhards, aren't you? You are doing my head in. Fine. We'll shut you up. I'll let you show one magical mystery item to the witness. I couldn't imagine you'll have anything up your sleeve to change the flow of this trial, though. Sir Falcon, save it. I have nothing more to say. Stubs. Ticket stubs. Boom! Please take a look at these, mademoiselle. Train ticket stubs? Look at the names. Papa and Mama. In Vienna, really? Are they really safe? They are, though you probably should not have uh, announced to the world where they are now, just in case of certain uh, organizations who might have far-reaching clutches, <laughs> but the tickets were arranged courtesy of the fox. Then? That means the wolf has nothing to hold over me. I can speak freely. The wolf. Indeed. Go ahead, mademoiselle. What are you two muttering about down there? Maybe he didn't hurt here, then. Yeah. I'm amending my testimony, Your Honor. I just imagine, like, the judge is just like... Just like slouched back, not really paying attention, reading like the newspaper or, or looking at his tweets, and he's not not really caring what's going on at this point. He's like, yeah, it's, 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 the trial's already up. It's, it's whatever. We're trying to push it. Members of the court, everything I've said today has been the truth. I did go to the Louvre on the 7th of January. I did present a box of poison chocolates to the king. 
Except it was not of my own volition. I was threatened. I was forced to carry the task under the threat of harm. You see, my family has been struggling to get by. The winter has been harsh. My flower business has been struggling. Winter is coming. One day a man approached me, a man I assumed to be kind-hearted. This man offered me 200 francs to get us through the cold, but I could not afford to repay the debt. When I attempted to bargain with the man, he offered me a deal. This is Tim with murder, and he would drop all debts, refuse, he would ruin me and my parents. I blushed because the alternative meant death for those I love. The name of the man who did this is Judge Romulus. Bum, bum, bum. Uh-oh. Bailiff! Uh, uh, uh oh. Bailiff! Get the. Ha! Ah, what a creative story, it's obviously, a last minute. Desperate attempt at passing the buck. The sheer laziness of this girl to accuse a man she's never met before is blatantly flattering. Indeed. I've heard dozens of these self pitying yarns during my time as a prosecutor. Although, admittedly, this is the first time I've seen a witness directly accuse a judge. Quite a brazen gambit. But in any case, these sorts of stories ever turn out to be true. They're always proven to be fabrications born of desperation. I've never been more honest, monsieur. Listen, Mademoiselle Signier. I would like to believe your story. But accusing a man, a judge, and less of conspiring to murder a king is a hugely serious accusation. Do you have any proof to support your theory? Proof? You say the judge loaned you money. Then you both must have signed a contract when you made the transaction. That contract will suffice as proof. The contract's were well verbal. He, he said the money was a gift at first, and only said later that I had to repay him. Huh. <laughs> How convenient, of course, the supposed contract doesn't exist. Mademoiselle has no proof because her story is a blatant lie. Falcon, you have to do something to have anything to link George Romulus to Mademoiselle Signier. A link? Of course. Members of the court. I know for certain that the Mademoiselle story is true. I can say with certainty that George Romulus had made contact with Mademoiselle in the past. I know this because at this very moment I'm holding a key piece of evidence that links Judge Romulus directly to the crime scene. What the f- what is it? <sighs> Is it the pen? Is it the pen? It's a fine modern pen. Maybe it has his name on it. Hmm. It can't be Don Quixote or the book or the page. We use that already. It's not the chocolate. That's the only thing. Contains green ink. What does that mean? I don't know. I think that's the only thing we have. I know this pen belongs to Judge Romulus. That much is obvious. But if I were to present it right now, it would prove it wouldn't prove anything. I have to find a link between the judge to the crime scene. What are you waiting for, defense? Show us the supposed evidence. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Show us the supposed evidence. Of my Sh- do I even have anything? Then why would they tell you you had something? It's gonna lead you in the right direction, I think. If you point, if you choose something, I, I just hope it's not a case of like I only have like three chances or something. No. Well, we already used the book. We haven't used that yet. We have not we've used, used the rose. The page. We we've haven't... we've used everything except the rose. No, we haven't used. Have we used the card? In trial. Which card? This. Yeah. No, we haven't. Yeah, it's either the card or the rose. Everything else we've used at trial. But how do we? How do? But how does that link? The uh... and none of this links. I don't think any of this links it to. Yeah. But then why would it tell you you have something that links them? Is there something we can look at? No, no. This is all we can do. Should we do the flower then, or? <sighs> this is tough. This oh. is tough, Fallen. I'm wondering if it, maybe you're right. Maybe it is the card to show that we have two possible witnesses who are aware of the situation. Yeah. Um, the other thing is it could be the rose, considering that she sells roses. She sells flowers. So then how is the how do we find the rose in the first place? It was at the scene of the crime. Okay. I don't think we really have the rose, but I think it's more of a... We can bring up Can you the rose. go up to the rose again and see what it says? Major okay. Howell took a rose from Prince Juan. The thorns of the rose were supposedly put in poison. I think the only thing is the card then. It sounds like... Everyone takes a look. Everyone take a look at this. This item ties the dog directly to the scene of the crime. You're going to have to elaborate, JJ. What exactly does... How exactly does it do that? Oh, I'm not sure. Heh. <laughs> Useless. You're wasting everyone's time, defense. 
They're stalling. What the fuck? Ah, we fucked it up. We, did we, we, don't, it up. we don't even have anything. We don't have anything. Now we have something. Something that proves the judge almost had a hand in the crime. Must be the Has rose, a then. hand in the crime. It's got to be the rose. It's got to be the rose, then. Or the chocolate. We don't have the chocolate anymore. No, but we can bring up the chocolate. We don't have the rose anymore, Shoot. either. Shoot. Because the chocolate... We should have gone back. We should have said the fishy thing about the entire case was the judge. And then we should have gone to the chocolate emporium and asked about the judge. Yep. Look at this. It's tied. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Hey, hey you're useless. useless. Uh, trial's a farce. Guilty for sure. Crap. Something. Try the rose. That's going to have to be... All we have is the rose. Okay. The gang seems to think we have it in hand. Uh, oh, man, we're fucked. We are mess. Yeah, we're messing this up. Enough, you've overstepped your bounds, defense attorney, Falcon. Fuck! You've clearly proven that your client is innocent by tracking down the real murderer. Your job is done. But, Your Honor... I'm afraid the judge is right here, JJ. It's obvious that you wanted to exonerate this mademoiselle, and that's admirable. It's obvious you don't have the evidence to support your claims right here and now. Let this go. The mademoiselle can defend herself in her own trial. So, in agreeance, prosecutor, are we ready to wrap this up? We are. I have no further questions for the defense or for Mademoiselle Signe. I shall now convince, converse with the jury to decide Prince Juan's verdict. Though I suspect this won't take long. Don't worry, Mademoiselle. We'll get you out of this. Won't we, Falcon? Mm. We don't have it. We don't have the evidence. Sparrows. Sparrows, and you're clearly not a caring individual, but this outcome is for the best. I ship it. How? How the hell is this for the best? Your parents were safe. That's all I wanted. Your parents? But what about you? Well, that deliberation was straightforward. We find the defendant, Prince Juan, querido, to be cleared of all charges, and we therefore find the defendant not guilty. Ba ba boom! Oh, this is horrible. Not guilty. Not your honor. What will happen to me? You, well, you haven't been formally tried yet. But fortunately for you, a free trial slot this afternoon. We should be able to determine your guilt by nightfall. What? may even see the blade of the guillotine by tomorrow. How lucky. Whoa. Oh, man. I see. You look scared, mademoiselle. Don't fret. They sharpen the guillotine blades regularly. <laughs> Nobody here like gallows humor. Whatever. Court is adjourned. I think this is goodbye. Thank you, Monsieur Falcon. Monsieur Sparrow, son, you did your best. It, it can end like this. Yes. Isn't how he wanted things to go, Senor Falcon. No, me neither. We mustn't blame ourselves. You made an admirable effort to save everyone. What good is effort if these are the results I produce? Hmm. Tell me, Senor Falcon, do you know why I hired you as my defense lawyer? I really, <laughs> I really don't. No, no idea. <laughs> no. I hired you because I thought you were a lawyer with a philosophy, an ideal. And I stand by that. You are a man with a strong ideal. It's just unrefined, like an unpolished gym. So you are a PI. Help me defend it's her. It's like, help me help you. Yeah. Shoot, man. Mousy could have gave us more information. Like, Mousy's maybe... a jerk. They should have just told us the entire thing right off the think from the beginning. Because you wasted everybody's time. I'm sure that given enough time, your idea will become refined. And you will come to live up to your reputable family name. The Falcon name is reputable. I didn't know that, but he changed his name. Yeah, he is not talking about. Never mind. In any case, here's your payment. I don't deserve this. Keep it. I dragged you into this. It's only fair that I compensate you for your time. I think this is the last you will see of Prince Juan. Yeah, but then we'll have Mr. Fox come back. But f feel free to come by R and M Associates if you need any help in the future, Senor Falcon. At least we made an ally. Impressive, JJ. You actually managed to successfully defend your client. Severin, are you going to be in charge of prosecuting Mademoiselle Signe? Probably. Why? Do you think you can get her a reduced sentence? For attempting to murder a king? I empathize with the Mademoiselle JJ, but I'm not a miracle worker. No lawyer can save the flower girl now. <laughs> He's trying to cut a deal. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, me too. That was disappointing. These cases are super disappointing. Uh, mm. We suck at this, Falwin. Well, neither of us went to law school, so... Yeah.
And although I'm aware of Ace Attorney, I've watched other people play it. I've never actually played it, so I don't really know the nuances of it to even have some sort of edge here. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens next, okay? Sure, that sounds great. All right. I just feel so down, I'll be honest. Do um, I remember the July Revolution? Of course. How could I ever forget? The chanting, the violence, the smell of gunpowder, the three glorious days. Oh. Are they drunk off their butts? Defending Napoleon or something? Oh. Mm. Some Les Mis shit going down. Oh. Oh, interesting. What is going on here? What? Oh. That's a shifty looking figure. It's like a rat or something. Gunpowder bone. Ooh, there's fire and smoke in the lower left. Ooh, yeah. The, the Sleeping City. City. Oct 3. I can't believe he's skipping work again. I swear if I find that moping bird brain at Lake Kanata Joyu. Finally, good morning, Falcon. Morning, Spa. No way, it's two in the afternoon. That means the official greeting is... Where the hell have you been, Lazy Bones? Oh, it's far too early for this level of roasting past the Cabernet Sauvignon. No way, we've got important business to discuss, and I can't do that if you're half drunk. Oh dear, give me a break. I haven't had a good night's sleep since the trial. Something on your mind? Actually, yes. It was what the wolf judge said about a revolution. Psh, that was off his rocker. Besides, if we worried about every potential French revolution, we would never get any work done at all. Am I right? <laughs> hmm... Yeah, maybe you're right. Worrying doesn't do us any good. Tell me about the important business you wanted to discuss. Oh, oh yeah, the business. Uh, Ladder, there's one for the Paris Police Department. Fax, you are seal and everything. That is indeed a fancy seal. Well, go ahead, Sproson. You may have the honors. Oh, right. <laughs> Monsieur Falco, meet me on the rooftop cafe. August, the Place de la Bastille. I have a proposal. Ah, uh, that's what I think you saw on fire. Bastille. Regards, Inspector Valerti. <gasps> dun dun dun. Oh no. The guy that has no idea what the fuck. And I am doing. Javert! Does that mean that we are uh, Jean Valjean? I was thinking maybe we're Anne Hathaway and we're single. That's, that's Sparrowson, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, that, that's it. How terse. The letter's been added. Proposal from the inspector? Interesting. Do you have any idea what sort of proposal he has in mind? Not a clue. So, are we going to meet him and find out? May as well. Mm-hmm. I don't know what sort of proposal inspector has in mind, but we would be foolish to reject it without even hearing him out. Grab your coat. All right, no dilly-dallying, I like it. <gasps> but before I forget, I need to drive by the hospital at some point. What did you eat this time? No, no, it's not like that. Well, not entirely. Oh, what'd you do? I need to pay for the bill for my last visit. Oh, that's reasonable. Sure, we can pay a visit. But the inspector's call should take priority, I think. <laughs> he hasn't paid. Okay, we're going to the Place de la Bastille. Okay. Yeah, it's the only option we get, so. Yep. See what's going on with Inspector Javert. It's cold yeah, in it here. Is, it is late January. There must be some Frenchies in the atmosphere. I said burr. <laughs> it's far too cold to be meeting on a rooftop cafe. Why couldn't an inspector have chosen a comfier location? Who knows? Maybe the inspector likes the view because it reminds him of his days guarding the old Bastille under the ancient regime. Wait, you think the inspector worked here during the ancient regime? Do you think that's how he got his war wounds? It was a joke, Sparrows, and I'm pretty sure the inspector isn't that old. It's Cocorico. <gasps> Cocorico! Well, well, well. Severin, what are you doing here? Settle down, JJ, just like you was invited here by the inspector. What can you want with the three of us? It is hardly unusual for the lawyers of the police of France to collaborate. Inspector probably has a big investigative role that requires all hands on deck. Big investigative role sounds juicy. Oh, by the by, did you hear what happened to Judge Romulus? No, what? 
turns out he acquired his position as judge through illegal means, so a warrant has been put out for his arrest. He's a wanted... He acquired his position through illegal means? What does that even mean? I'm a little hazy on the details. Something about pushing another judge into the Sen. Sen. The Sen. I was thinking of... I was thinking of... of uh, Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle, yeah. I can believe that. I'm sure he'll be caught b before long. Nobody managed to escape long or belong forever. Speaking of which... Bum, ba, da, bum, ah, good. You're all here. Excuse me, Monsieur, Mr. Inspector Valerti, sir. Doc and I wondering, did you get your injuries while defending the old Bastille prison? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't drag me into this, you fool. I was joking. You impotent whelps. I'm not that old. I sustained these injuries when in the July Revolution 18 years ago. I was a royal guard, just a lowly peon. The air was thick with gunpowder and blood. Oh, great. Now you've set we were given the order to charge the rebel barricade by comrades, and I fastened our bayonets. <laughs> Suddenly, BOOM! Without warning, a gunpowder keg exploded. My comrades are dead. I was heavenly wounded. That's when I looked up and saw a looming figure standing between the gargoyles of Notre Dame. It was the Viridian Killer himself. <laughs> this is a fascinating story, Inspector, but perhaps you can tell us why we are here. All right, of course. Why we're here... What I'm about to tell you is to remain strictly confidential, you understand. It's a matter of national security. You've probably heard France is under threat from a certain heinous group. Hipsters! Those damn hipsters! Probably revolutionaries, right? Skateboarding around with their... Beards. Skinny jeans and, and their, their man buns. And beards. <laughs> I'm going to say revolutionaries. I think so, too. That's come up at least once in every in trial. Revolution, yeah. yeah. Revolutionaries. Revolutionaries? Indeed, rebels. There's a storm brewing in the shadows of Paris. We, the Paris Police Department, have known about it for months, no years! In every tavern, every street corner, people talking, talk of organizing protests and overthrowing the government. The king is ordered for public gatherings to be dispersed and newspapers to be censored, but the whispers of dissent remain. No surprise there. If you take away an angry citizen's ability to speak, they will just get even angrier. Indeed, and that's why it's paramount that we find and strike at the heart of the rebel group as soon as possible. So we're counter-revolutionaries, eh? For that, I need your help. What exactly do you want us to do? Interview citizens, scout locations, find the secret rebel meeting location that has escaped the eyes of the police. It's gonna be the tavern. Tell us, princess, where is the secret hidden rebel base? <laughs> I do not know the next sentence or my line. Dantooine. It's all in Dantooine. Ah, uh, you need to watch more Star Wars. <laughs> Do we have any leads? Just one. We all know the rebels have having weapons supply them by a crook merchant who is known as the, the Crook Monsieur. That is hilarious. The Crooked uh, Mister. Right? No, the Crook Monsieur is the sandwich, like the sandwich, oh. an open face sandwich. I had no idea. Yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely delicious. I apparently don't really eat much French cuisine then. So we have the joy of cooking. By um, what's her name? Julie, Julia Childs. Oh, yeah, Julia Childs. Are uh, they show you how to make a croque monsieur in there? I can check it out after this. And we'll show, we'll continue. share a picture on our Instagram and Twitter, everybody. Look out for it. What? The croque monsieur. It's a hot sandwich. Cheese ham, a little bechamel. Throw some peppers if it's a Friday night. There's nothing to do with sandwiches. Croque monsieur is the alias of any an accomplished, notoriously dangerous arms dealer. In any case, it's everything the Parisian police know. That's everything. That's all you have to demonstrate after years of trekking. Yeah, you're, you're terrible, Javier. Uh, naturally, as a public prosecutor, it's my duty to help the police with their investigative work. I would be honored to lend all my, any and all assistance. So go. That's very good to hear, Monsieur Cocorico. What about you, Falcon? Well, to be honest, Inspector, I don't quite understand why you're asking me. I'm a private defense attorney. I work for citizens who get stuck in legal trouble. Rebel hunting isn't quite my forte. You want to know I'm asking you? Uh, that yes. is why I asked, yes. yeah. Look around you, Falcon. We're surrounded by corruption and incompetence. Uh, you mean you? you? <laughs> the judges are bloodthirsty wolves, the jail jailers are thieving ravens, and the National Guard are sitting ducks. You're racist. He's racist. He's very racist. Fair. And very stereotypical, too. Yeah, he's racist. <laughs> Look at the slackers and dullards who supposedly serve and protect this country. Nobody cares about justice anymore. You saw my shameful display at the previous trials. Those are the results that I produced with imbeciles to assist me. 
Will Verti 2016 make France great again? 2016? <laughs> you mean like 1866? No, I'm making fun of a Trump thing. I know. You notice. <laughs> but you three, you care. Falcon, I saw you defending Dame Couterline and Prince Juan. And I heard of your escapades around the city, frantically collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Frankly, you did more investigative work over the last month than I've seen any policeman do in a year. Not including myself, of course. But Dame Catiline... It doesn't matter. You have passion and conviction and you aren't a turtle bird brain. In my book, that makes you a fantastic investigator, even if that is not in your job description. So what do you say? Do you want to sit around your office twiddling your thumbs and tell another pointless offer, job offer, falls into your lap? How did you know? That's or do I you want, want to take this opportunity to do something great and help us track down the animals who wish to harm our glorious nation? Uh, I'd be honored to help my country... Yeah, thanks, but let's no do it. thanks. Let's do it. Nah, I, I'm good. You, you don't want to do it? I'm good. You really don't want to do it? I can already predict what's going to happen. We say no, and then Kokorito's like, oh, oh, well, I'm doing it because I'm an amazing person. Be like, you know what? I'm amazing too. I'll do it. But fine, we'll, we'll do it. It would be an honor to help my country, Inspector. Consider us on board. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. I have no idea you're such a patriot, JJ. There's nothing wrong with a little national pride. Oh, yeah, pride is fine and all, but, uh,. Do you get any compensation for this? There you go. Of course. Here's 50 francs. You receive another 50 upon the completion of your work. 50 francs? Psh, we're being undersold. Hush, Barrison. This is a great opportunity. I don't want to keep any longer than you necessary. You already have all the key facts of the investigation. We have nothing. <laughs> Find the elusive crook, monsieur. Find where rebels, where the rebels are congregating. Those are your two tasks. We're gonna, you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna go around the city asking people for this, this, Croc this Monsieur. name. And everyone's gonna point us to the cafe. Get yourself a sandwich. The, the local, the most closest local cafe, and be like, yeah, go over there. They got, they got some good ones. Or don't go to that one. That one sucks. Get yourself a sandwich. Yeah. I'll check upon your progress in three weeks' time. See what you can accomplish by then. I'll be doing my own independent investigation to the rebel for JJ. So I suppose this is a competition of sorts. Try to keep up with me. Don't make me laugh, Severin. I'll have all the rebel leaders behind bars before you even have your first suspect. Come, Spedderson. Horrible. We have a croquet, monsieur, to... Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> New little competition will kick those bird brains into gear. See, if I said no, he would have tried to be like, competitive yeah. with me to get me to do it. Well, Inspector, this has been a productive meeting. I should probably start my investigation to the croque monsieur, too. Not so fast, Kokoriko. There's something else we need to discuss. Uh-oh. Ooh, double dealings. Double dealings. It's a new day. It's a new day. All right. So we are going to f ask around the town about rebel stuff. Oh, wow. There's more stuff on the other side. What is all this? The Salpetrier. We know all of these except on the right, the Salpetrier. Yeah, that's right. We did go to the Chateau yeah, Prenet. The last one's new. Oh, that's the hospital. Oh, yeah. We have to pay our bill yeah. and such. Okay. Well, we're going to call it here for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned next time for more Avery Attorney as we try to figure out what kind of revolutionary rebel situation is going on and try to find the secret hidden rebel base. Uh, and the Death Star. Yeah, and the Death Star. Well, wouldn't France have the Death Star and we're trying to find the rebels? I have no idea. They're... Anywho. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We will, we will show a picture of our Croque Monsieur sandwich. <laughs> Take care guys, we'll see you all next time. See you next time.